What's up, brothers? <laughs> Having just the finest cuisine tonight. We got canned green beans. I've been rolling them up in the roast beef. And then I got, you know, the all holy. I always try to curb my addictions. So uh, I've actually had to cut down to two mayonnaise packets a day. And that's been, it's been difficult. I mean, like, you know, up there with nicotine. It's hard. Um, all right, so this video, um, I don't know if I'll play the clip in before, you know. God, excuse me. <laughs> I don't know if I'll play the clip first or at the end of this. But anyway, it's about something I heard Chris Williamson from the Modern Wisdom podcast talk about, and that is, excuse me again, so impolite. But anyway, that is, it's actually he was talking about another guy. So he quoted Sam Harris and how Sam Harris, you know, he's, he's big on mindfulness and being in the present moment. And Sam Harris says, you know, we should have this goal to lower the threshold to be present. Like in modern day, think about what people will do just to be present in a moment, to stop the chatter in their head. You know, they'll take... Uh, Consortium, 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 is that the word? I think it is. They'll take a, just this cocktail of substances, you know, pills, alcohol, those two things simultaneously, just to reach these states of consciousness, consciousness where they can basically have their mind shut the fuck up for a little bit because they're so elsewhere all the time. You know, they're always thinking, in the past, you know, through anxiety, or always in the future. Also, you know, could be in an anxious state or just uh, just always waiting for something, you know, waiting for the next moment. And Sam Harris speaks about how we need to uh, we need to try to achieve moments of presence far more frequently. And it shouldn't be difficult. You shouldn't have to, you know, be doing this certain set of there shouldn't be prerequisites to presence. You should just be able to achieve it. You should be able to sit back and just, I'm here. Like this is life right now. There's nothing else but this. And that's cool, you know, and just be able to enjoy that rather than have to go on a roller coaster or um, be choked out during sex. You know, that if that's what it takes to shut up your mind, brother, you gotta do some work. And, um, I had a nice moment today. Uh, I work on a boat and I was just sitting outside. I didn't have these headphones on, but I had earmuffs because I was sitting on an engine hatch. So it was like terribly loud. And, uh, and I was just eating a banana and you know, there was some sea spray hitting my face. So I was kind of zooted out, you know, couldn't hear much. Um, just munching a banana, you know, looking at like the late afternoon sunset. There's birds flying, you know, in the sky. I'm just watching them, man. I was like, God, that's nice. That's pretty. And I caught myself. I was like, oh, damn, I'm so present right now. And uh, there wasn't much I needed to do to get there. And I was rather proud of myself because that's something that I've been working on since, I think, my sophomore year of high school. I remember reading, I think it's John Kabat-Zinn's book, like, The Power of Now. And at that point, I was so not naive nor ignorant, but just uneducated and like almost unable to grasp the concept of presence because I was, I was young and I don't know, man, I was a kid. Like I like getting high and shit like that. I didn't really understand mindfulness and, um, the evolution from there to now has been drastic. Well, I guess in the long term it hasn't been drastic. You know, it's been like this slow road of learning, like what presence is, what mindfulness is, like what is... What's my mind doing, you know? When I'm just sitting and thinking, am I really in a moment or am I in my head elsewhere? And it's taken a long time to get from reading that book, you know, The Power of Now or whatever it was, where I wasn't even able to like understand, like what does he mean being present? I was like, being present? Like I have to think about going to the vape store after school or, you know, like 
hunting down a girl, you know, like whatever I was thinking about in my sophomore year of high school. Presence was so foreign to me. And now being able to get to this point where I was just, I caught myself. I caught myself being present, which I don't know if that counteracts the presence itself, but it was a nice moment because, you know, I was sitting there and it was just beautiful. And I was appreciating the beauty. And I think like at its core, that's what being present is. You know, you're just there immersed in life. But anyway, the basis is lower the threshold to, to, to being present, to being in a moment. Try to uh, minimize the steps you might have to take, whether that's drinking nine Bud Lights or, you know, you have to take two dabs to get high. Or if you're a sick fuck, you know, like, like you have to get in your zone three heart rate by running 10 miles or, you know, whatever people do, like having to watch some fucked up porn just to like shut your mind up. Start training yourself. Start training yourself to just sit and be like, okay, in reality, there's, I'm gonna sound like fucking Master Uguay saying this, but like, there is no real future. There is no real past. There's only now. You know, that's what the smart people say. So I'm quoting them on that. And I try to believe that myself. So keep that in mind, brothers and sisters. So yeah, now I think whether or not I played the clip of, you know, me just showing my banana and then what I was looking at, I guess that probably broke the presence. So it was counterintuitive to take that video, but that um, was a nice moment. So I'm going to keep working on that because I know it will lead to a, a healthier life and just probably overall more happiness, you know? Because think, those moments where you're present, where you are able to slow down the monkey mind, you know, the talk in your head, you're happy. That's what you are. You know, you're living in the moment. That's all it is. I think that's what happiness is, just being in the moment. So with, with more presence in your life, you'll likely be more happy. So uh, it's definitely a noble pursuit. Yeah. All right. Uh, I think that's it.